It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? And it's live right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside the Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And so the match is underway. Griezmann. Rabio. Now with Mbappe. Might it be Mbappe? And the keeper got there. And he's fired over the corner. Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. And a poor ball. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals and this past month has been challenging as well but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners well you're absolutely right but i think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on they've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch they're good tactically they've been fit and i think they've got every chance of being the world champions here but they're gonna have to play well now they stopped them in their tracks Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Still possibilities. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. 
Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that, and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. So back underway, having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Ruben Dias. Fernandes. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Dalo. Surely the equaliser. And bruising the woodwork. Well, from that range, he should be scoring. I think that's a big miss. Dembele. Portugal have possession once more. Could be. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Giroud now at the controls and they deal with the threat this time Mbappe putting his body on the line and they're trying to get right into his face splendid tackle and a throw in coming up Otavio well doesn't have to do it on his own but they took care of the situation defensively. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Played over. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Rabio Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Joao Felix. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And it's a quality pass. Bruno Fernandes. Can he finish? Well, the keeper had to concentrate. <laughs> Delivering it. It might still be problematic. And off the bar that time. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Dembele. Well, he strayed offside, just as it looked promising. Joao Felix. Tremendous challenge. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Giroud. Blocked by Pepe. Not just the tackle that was needed. And a goal kick is the outcome. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be.
And a struggle for France to keep the ball. Chances on. Oh, a goal! As they forge ahead on this massive occasion, feel the passion. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And Fernandez does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Dembele, Mbappe in the centre, not away completely, well that's the end of that for now, Griezmann, and he read it well, and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack, so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on, Radio. And France finding space on the flank. Can he get them level? And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal and what a play he is. that for the first half here now with him so they get the ball rolling in the second half even Steven here so little to choose between the sides Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And they will make the change now. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Leal. Real chance. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Olivier Giroud. Koundé. And he stopped them in their tracks. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, lovely ball. And they bought themselves a bit of time. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Giroud. Griezmann. Can they take advantage? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive.
Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. And a tidy tackle. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game with plenty of good forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Lovely ball over the top. The end product just wasn't there. Diogo Dallo. On to Silva. Ruben Neves. Not a great pass. Kylian Mbappe. Now Griezmann. Tempele. And back with Griezmann. Aimed towards Mbappe. With no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Mbappe. Rafael Varane. A chance to whip it in. There's still an issue here. Hernandez. And he takes on the shot. Good stop from the keeper. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Played over. Smuggled away. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Mbappe. Griezmann. Oh, fine stop. Time for a change then. Short corner favourite. And a decent delivery. And the danger cleared. And teammates around him. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Bernardo Silva. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And they will make the change now. They take it short. Cancelo. Tremendous block. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Leal. And in with a real chance. Oh, there it is! There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? On the attack in the closing phase. 
Rafael Leao. Plenty of options, but they took care of the situation defensively. Well, relying on their goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps them in it. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Neves. He must finish. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. It's a short corner. Good work to regain possession. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Mbappe. And space to exploit, maybe. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, Portugal have certainly controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. They've created some great opportunities. They just need to get that goal that kills the game off. Well, first they have a bit of defending to do. This could be the equaliser. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Can they hit on the break? Ronaldo feeds it. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo. Ronaldo! Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Cuts in from the flank. Will he finish? A goal! And that is going to be that! Name on the trophy for certain! Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. the world champions and this is finally Portugal's time fully deserved best team in the world well you have to give credit to the coach he's been excellent but so too the players and these fans it's absolutely magnificent for them